So hello grade 12 students. In this session, we'll continue about the genetics chapter and we will start in this session with our new chapter, chapter five, talking about document four, chromosomal mutations on your book, pages 98, 99, and 100. So first of all, you have to know chromosomal abnormalities. Abnormalities at the level of the chromosomes. This is the meaning of chromosomal abnormalities. They are abnormalities at the level of chromosomes. These abnormalities, they are classified either chromosomal numerical abnormalities or chromosomal structural abnormalities. What's the difference between these? Chromosomal numerical abnormality. It's an abnormality in the chromosomes, but at the level of the numbers of the chromosomes. So we have abnormal number of chromosomes. Maybe this is higher than the normal or lower than the normal. This is called a chromosomal abnormality that is related to the numerical abnormality or chromosomal structural abnormality. Chromosomal structural abnormality is abnormality in the chromosomes, but it's at the level of the structure. So we have two types of the chromosomal abnormalities, either numerical or structural, and here we go. Chromosomal and numerical abnormalities, they are abnormalities that affect the number of the chromosomes. Maybe there is an extra chromosome or there is a missing chromosome. Extra chromosome in the case of trisomy. What the meaning of trisomy? Tri, it's a tree. Trisomy, we have three chromosomes in one of the pairs. For example, if he says trisomy 21, we have three chromosomes, 21, instead of having two chromosomes. This is called trisomy. Tetrasomy, four chromosomes instead of two. Klein filter syndrome, it's a chromosome, it's abnormality at the level of the gonosomes or the sex chromosomes, where we have X, X, Y. So whenever we talk about the Klein filter syndrome, this is abnormality at the level of the gonosomes. So here we have this karyotype. Karyotype, it's the arranged set of the chromosomes. These arranged set of chromosomes, they reveal if we have a abnormality at the level the numbers of the chromosomes. So it shows the chromosomal numerical abnormality and not the structural, okay? So here we are going to talk about trisomy 21. Trisomy 21, it is the case here where we have three chromosomes number 21 instead of having two on the pair number 21. This is having one extra chromosome. So one extra chromosome, this is an abnormality at the level of the number of the chromosomes. So this is called a numerical abnormality. Here we have two n plus one. This is called the chromosomal formula. Chromosomal formula two n plus one equal 47. From now on, so you have to put two n plus one equal 47. Since we have one extra chromosome, so two n equal 47, comma, you have to put the sex chromosomes. If we have XX, so it's going to be XX. Or if we have XY, it's going to be XY. So here, this is the chromosomal formula. If I ask for the chromosomal formula, it should be like this. Here, the chromosomes, they are shown here that we have abnormality at the level of the chromosome pair number 21. This is what's known by trisomy 21. Now let's move to another abnormality. Another abnormality, it's the monosomy. Monosomy meaning that we have one missing chromosomes. This is what's known by the monosomy. So we have monosomy, whenever we talk about the monosomy, monosomy meaning that we have a missing chromosome. So there is no 2n. Normal case, as you know, it's 2n equal, how much, Shahali? 2n equal? 46. 46, exactly. So Tn equal 46. If you have a missing chromosome somewhere, it will be 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1. If you have an additional chromosome, it will be 2n plus 1. Okay? So here we have normal, it's 2n equal 46. Okay? Comma XX or XY, it depends on the sex of the fetus or the sex of the organism, and it depends on the karyotype given, okay? But 
If we have an additional chromosome, it should be 2n plus 1. Here, to have monosomy 2n minus 1 equal 45. Why? Because we have a missing chromosome, and there is one less chromosome than the normal. So first of all, your job here is to look at the karyotype. The karyotype here is the key. Key for solving the equation or writing the equation, chromosomal equation or chromosomal formula, and it's the key to detect if there is an abnormality or not. So this is the case of monosomy. We have a missing chromosome. Moving for klein filter syndrome. klein filter syndrome, here we have 2n plus 1. We said that klein filter syndrome, we have XXY. So the sex chromosome, they are XXY. So we have one additional sex chromosome. Mainly, this abnormality, it affects the gonosomes. Or, as we said, it affects the sex chromosomes or the gonosomes. This abnormality is having one extra sex chromosome. So if I ask you, Selena, what can you think about this? Is this pedigree for a male or for a female? And justify your answer. Male because there is a Y chromosome. Excellent. So there is a Y chromosome. Immediately, it's for a male. We can discuss this. You don't have to think about it. Whenever we have a Y, so it's for a male. XXY, it's a Klein filter syndrome. From now on, whenever you see XXY, so there is a Klein filter syndrome. So the chromosomal formula, it will be like 2M plus 1 equal 47. And from now on, you have to write it like this. X, X. Y. You don't have to write 44 plus XXY. These, we tend to use it in grade 11. From now on, you have to use this formula, 2N plus 1 equal 47, comma, you write the sex chromosomes, XXY. So if we want to ask you a question. First question, is this abnormality a, an autosomal abnormality or a gonosomal abnormality? Justify your answer. What do you think, uh, Badia? Good morning, Badia. Good morning. Good morning from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> okay, yeah. What is the problem here? It's a gonosomal abnormality or it's an autosomal abnormality? It is a gonosomal. Gonosomal. Justify. Uh, since it affects the uh, sex, uh, 23 chromosomes. The sex chromosomes the or the gonosomes. Okay, that's it. So yes. it's a, a gonosomal abnormality. What do you yes. think, Zayat? Thank you, Badia. What do you think this is a, uh, this person is fertile or sterile? What? Is fertile or sterile? Can he give birth or not? Oh, okay, no, he can't. Why? Uh, he's abnormal. Okay. Why? He's abnormal, but why? He will because the abnormality is where? And the gonosomes. And the gonosomes. Whenever the abnormality is the gonosomes, mostly it's a sterile. Okay, it can give birth. So whenever we have abnormality in the gonosomes, so there is a sterility a problem in giving birth or having babies. Okay, so I have to keep it in your mind. Uh, have... Yes. Fertile means able to pro to reproduce. Yes, able to giving birth. Okay. So here, the abnormality here at the level of the gonosomes. So abnormality at the level of the gonosome, mostly it's sterile. It can give birth. Why? If it's trisomy 21, what do you think, yeah, Dana? Trisomy 21, it's an autosomal or a gonosomal problem? I'm autosomal. Autosomal, why? Because it's from pair 1 to pair 22, yeah, pair not on the same. And it affects the autosomes or the gonosomes. This is will be the autosomes. answer. It affects the autosomes. Simply, you have to say it's an autosomal abnormality since it affects the autosomes. What do you think? It's a sterile or fertile? It has sterility or not? Yeah, yeah. It can it's, give birth. It can give birth to so it's fertile, not sterile. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, so whenever the abnormality is in the gonosomes, this will lead to sterility. Whenever the abnormality in the autosomes, this will not affect the fertility. 
okay unless they have another problem okay guys everything is clear till now before we move to another ideas yes okay so let's continue so we talk about the klein filter syndrome so now let's move to the chromosomal structural abnormalities what the meaning of chromosomal structural abnormality chromosomal abnormality is the abnormality at the level of the chromosomes Structural abnormality, it's a problem that affects the structure of the chromosome, the shape of the chromosome, the aspect of the chromosome. So there, there are abnormalities that affect mainly the shape of one of the chromosomes or it affects the shape of more than one of the chromosomes. So there, there is a translocation. What's the meaning of translocation? Translocation, for example, one of these uh, best examples about translocation it's what's known by Robertsonian translocation. So we have translocation 21, 14, 14 to 21. So we have one piece or one uh, portion or a segment of the chromosome is translocated. What's the meaning of this? It moved from one part, from pair to another pair. For example, it moved from chromosome 14 to chromosome number 21. So chromosome number 21 will be larger in size. So this is called chromosomal abnormality that affects the structure. Maybe there is a translocation. One of the pieces, it moves from pair to another pair. This is called a translocation. It's like transportation. It transport from one pair to another pair, which gives an abnormal shape for both of them. Or we have a missing part or a missing segment. This, it can be detected by the karyotyping after they join the different uh, chromosomes after they arrange them. So they have, for example, chromosome number 21 is like this. Chromosome number 21, the other the other uh, chromatids or the other chromosome is larger. So we have translocation. So one of the segments, it moves to chromosome number 21 and make it larger in size. So now all of you, you have to open your books on pages 98, 99, and 100 in order to start. Already I'm going to use them here, but if you have your books, it's better for you. Abnormalities in the chromosomes. First, let's start with autosomal abnormalities. Trisomy 21, also it's called familial Down syndrome. Document A, it shows a child with familiar free trisomy 21. If you see here, it's trisomy 21, it have three chromosomes instead of having two at the pair number 21. So trisomy 21 is also called familial Down syndrome in document A. This is the document after John Down, the British physician, who has described the condition in 1866. Affected individuals, what do they have? They have three copies of chromosome number 21. What do they show? What are the symptoms? These are important for the picking out, by the way. Picking out and you have problem pick out. They show the following symptoms, oblique eye, short hands with a unique pancreas, cardiac deformities, and mental retardation. Sexual maturity is usually attained. The frequency of the occurrence is one in 700 births, but it varies depending on many factors, and we will talk about these factors. If you move for document A, let's have a participant here. I'm going to use uh, Dima. Good morning, Dima. Dima, good morning. You can speak, Dima. Dima, are you here? Maybe she had a problem with the connection. Let's move to Hadil. Hadil, in document A, they show the karyotype of a child with the trisomy 21. Identify, and pay attention to my question, identify the sex of this individual in document A. What do you think? Identify. So it's the verb of the rhyme of Wi-Fi. So we have to justify. What do you think, Yadil, the sex of this individual will be? It's a male since it has a Y chromosome. Since we have a Y chromosome, since it's a male. But let's make it better. And let's make it more, uh, for example, complete answer. It's a male since we have X, Y as sex chromosomes. Okay? Okay, let's continue. Another type of transitive 21 
can result from translocation of the chromosomes. So we have translocation of the chromosomes as shown in document C, karyotype of a child with length translocated the trisomy 21. What happened? Affected individual had the same symptoms. As you have a look here, chromosome number 14, it has one of the portion, one of the chromosomes is larger than the other. So here we have chromosomal translocation. The segment of this is translocated from 21 to 14. It moves to 14. So here we have trisomy 21 abnormality, but it's translocated to chromosome number 14. Here we call it by Robertsonian translocation. How can we detect this? You as a student, you can detect this easily, but they have to mention it for you. Or you have to think about it. If we have an abnormality, it's not really, uh, for example, a clear in the karyotype. Okay? So affected individual, they have the same symptoms as transit 21. However, their karyotype has, in addition to the pair of chromosomes number 21, a third one attached to another chromosomes. Another trisomy is we have trisomy 18, trisomy 13, trisomy 8. Moving to document B. Document B is showing the variation of the frequency of trisomy 21 as a function of the maternal age. What well, the meaning of the maternal age is the age of the mother. So this document or this graph is showing the variation of the current frequency of the Down syndrome and percentage as a function of the maternal age in years. So let's have a volunteer who is going to start by analysis of this graph. Well, let's make interpret. But first, I want to want to analyze. Yeah, who is the going to start? Raising your hands. Let's see who will start by analysis of this graph. Raising the hands or I choose. Uh, let's have Rama. Rama, she didn't speak till now. Good morning, Rama. Good morning. Okay, please. Can you do the analysis for this graph? When the maternal age was? When the maternal age was 35 years. Years, yes. Um, All of you pay attention, please. Yes, Rama. The percentage of uh, Down syndrome. Yes. The frequency of Down syndrome was uh, between zero and zero point five. You can say it's zero point five. Zero point five percent. Okay, exactly. Let's continue. Okay, what's happening for the age? Maternal age is increasing or decreasing? And as the maternal age increases, the frequency oh. of Down syndrome also also increases. To reach to nine percent approximately. approximately. Okay, reaching to nine percent. Okay, yes. okay. So thank you. So this is for the analysis. Thank you, Rano. So as the maternal age increases, the frequency of the Down syndrome increases. If I told you, I need the indication. We did the analysis. Second step is to give the indication. What is the indication here? Who can give the indication here? Yes. Who can give the indication here? Yes. Let's see. Let's have someone. What do you think? If I want you an indication here, this indicates what? Yes, someone. The age. This indicates that. The frequency that Down syndrome depends on the age. This indicates the frequency depends on the age. We can use it in another word, proportional. We can use it. This indicates yeah. that the frequency of the Down syndrome is proportional to the age. As the age increases, the frequency increases. increases. So here is an important problem here. As the age of the mother increases, this is the maternal age, the age of the mother, the frequency or the risk of having a Down syndrome child increases, meaning that uh, moms or, for example, whenever they are above 40s, the chance of having a child with frequency of, of Down syndrome having trisomy increases. Do you know why? Who can give me a logical reasoning, a hypothesis, propose a hypothesis about this? What is the question? Why? 
propose a hypothesis. This is another question. Propose a hypothesis that explains the results or the uh, increase in the frequency of the Down syndrome as the maternal age increases. What will be the hypothesis here? What will be the cause? What do you think the cause is? As the age of the maternal age, as the age of the mother increases, the frequency of the Down syndrome increases. What do you think is the cause? Yes, Selena, what do you think? When you become old, your cells uh, become what? When you become old, your cells become what? Younger or older? Uh, older. Okay, I their function know. becomes as normal functioning or not? Slower. Slower. Mitosis and meiosis will be, be the same? No. No, so this is the problem here. So there is a problem in the meiosis process. This they do not separate and this increase the chance of having trisomy 21. This is one of the causes or one of the logical reasoning. So you have to think about this whenever you are solving any exercise. So here, the problem is that we have a problem in the aging of the cell. The aged cells, they have a problem in the process. They have increased chance of having problems in mitosis and meiosis. That's related to the trisomy 21. Okay? Moving to document D, document D is showing two individuals having Down syndrome and Down syndrome hand, document two, and a normal hand. So sex chromosomes, as you see here, we have differences inside these, these two hands. These are the normal hand, this one for having a Down syndrome hand. So sex chromosomes or gonosome abnormalities, other abnormalities in the chromosome number may affect a sex chromosome, resulting in several syndromes. One of these is the Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome XO, it affects women. Turner syndrome, we have only one sex chromosome. We have only X, we don't have two Xs. We have only one X. So the chromosomal formula will be 2N minus 1 equal 45 equal 44 comma X and a zero. You have to put the zero. This is the Turner syndrome. Mainly it affects women. Patients, they have a short stature, they are sterile due to the atrophy of the ovaries. And the secondary sexual characteristics, they do not develop. So you have to know from now on, Turner syndrome it affects women. They are sterile, so it does affect the gonal zones, and they have the problems in the, the ovaries since they are atrophied. Klein filter syndrome, already we talked about this. Klein filter syndrome affect males who are sterile due to the atrophy of the testes. They exhibit both male and female secondary sexual characteristics. So you have abnormal development of breast. So they are males, but they have some characteristics of the females, one of them abnormal development of the breast. And mostly or often you have mental retardation we have problems at level of the mentality so you have mental retardation so client filter syndrome it affects males they are sterile since it affects the gonosomes and they have atrophy of the testes and also they have both male and female secondary sexual characteristics this is everything for this session next session we're going to continue with our uh, lesson okay